وقاب In this video, I want to show you guys a cool little mod that I did to my car in order to make life easier when having to remove the door panel on and off. It is simply getting rid of the H clip. Now, I got this idea from when I worked on a subscriber's car and uh, he brought it to me in order to help him change the switches of his door. I noticed that on the earlier models of the W204 such as the 2007, 2008 I believe, they didn't even have this H clip which is this right here. So if you've watched any of my videos on how to remove the door panel you'll see that there's always a situation where you get to this H clip and a lot of people tend to think that it is a one-time clip where once you remove it you can no longer use it. And the truth is you probably don't even have to use this in order to keep your door panel intact because you basically have the two torque screws that hold the door panel in place. And this is basically just to help hold it in place on this part of the door right here. But like I said, it isn't necessary. The door will still stay intact with just the two T30 Torx screws that are screwed in at the bottom here. I just wanted to show you guys a workaround simply using a pushing clip that has a hole in which you can screw a screw directly into it in order to help hold it in place and I also use two washers so that when you screw it in it holds the entire piece of door panel in place as you can see right now I have a screw with two washers that hold the door panel in place in the top corner right here where the H clip is supposed to go and I want to show you guys how easy this modification was and how cheap it was to do because you know if if you get into a situation where you break your H clip and you need to buy a new one this part is not that easy to find I mean even with the part number I I almost couldn't find one and the only reason why I got one was because I sourced it from a wreckers where they take apart cars they happen to still have these and when I told them what it was they weren't even familiar with what it was I had to tell them exactly how to get to the part and basically what the part was for long story short I got the part um, it still costed me about $20 for the part and then delivery so you know it is a pretty expensive part when you think about it you have to pay almost 20 to 30 dollars and depending on who you buy it from because it's such a rare part sometimes they can charge you even more in order to be able to fix this issue without having to replace the part i decided to go with a workaround that i did and i used this here so this is the push clip that i used and as you can see it's just a plastic push clip and it basically mimics what this H clip is. It has two tabs on each side so that you can push it into the square hole that the door handle holds. And once you push it in, these two tabs here will clip into the uh, slot for it. And the hole in the center here is for the screw that I've used in the door panel right here. I use this screw. Once you push this into the door frame, you would then use a screw, screw into it and that will allow you to secure the door panel to the door frame. So I'm going to show you guys a close up of what this actually looks like and how it is installed. So this is basically how it works now. So you just have your screw in there and then you have your two washers. Now you don't have to install two washers. I just wanted to install two washers and the washer helps to hold the material of the door panel to the door frame. And then we simply unscrew it like so. We take off our washers and now our door panel can be removed. But in this case, I'm just going to show you what it looks like once you pry it off. That's basically how it sits. So as you can see, this is the clip here that sits in loosely and this is the door panel that sits over it. And as you can see, it's very easy to remove your door panel now. Now, if you ever had to replace it for any reason, to remove it is actually really simple. So all you'd have to do now is pry it and it will come straight out. Look how easily that came out, guys. Nothing compared to that H clip that was so hard to remove. I'm sure if you have removed a W204 door panel before, you would have experienced how difficult it is to sometimes remove this H clip. Even personally for myself, I have destroyed the H-clip a couple of times, hence why I had to buy a couple of new ones. This is how it used to sit in, and there's two clips. As you can see, my H-clip has also broken, because when I went to remove it, I didn't understand how to remove it at first, and I just kept prying at it until it broke. 
and that's not what you want to do you want to be able to remove it easily so that if you ever have to do anything behind your door panel it's very easy to access what it is you need to fix or replace so now in order to put it back in it's so simple it really doesn't take much effort at all and that's why I decided to go with this modification or say fix and you can just simply use a screw big enough to insert into the plastic clip you can just use the one washer I'm going to show you right now so this is me just using the one washer and all you do is you screw it in and that's it once it's tight that's all you need see how it doesn't really cover the entire hole that's why in the end I decided to go with two washers now you can always get a washer that is one washer that is big enough but in this case because my screw head isn't big enough to hold the washer down I decided to go with another washer as well so now I screw it in and when you go to screw it in make sure you line it up so it's not too far out and uh, it really is that simple and you just screw it in and that will keep it nice and secure if they had it in the earlier models of the w204 i don't understand why they didn't just keep it and follow suit throughout the other models they just made it a little bit more difficult by using this h clip and another cool little thing i want to show you guys is that you can now get this boot release button for your w204 as well so if you saw my video on upgrading the buttons and switches for the w204 you would see how i upgraded all my switches to these adhesive uh, button covers but back then when they came out with this type of uh, button cover mod they didn't have the boot release button and it basically just had every other buttons except for the boot release but today I managed to find a button cover and I just wanted to share this with you guys so that if you were doing this type of modification to your W204, rest assured that now you can make it complete by, by now getting the button cover for your boot release as well. And really it is just as simple as peeling off the adhesive and sticking it on. Of course, you would always clean it with some iso alcohol first and once you clean it with iso alcohol, then you can stick it on that way you create a really strong bond and a bond that will last i've basically had my buttons on now for about a year and they really are still going very strong these are the buttons that you use most frequently in your w204 the unlock you know the seat adjustment memory mirrors up down and the windows it gives you some sense of comfort that doing this modification will last and it's not just something that you put on and you know a couple of months later it falls apart or it breaks off because that isn't the case it has definitely lasted me a very long time so now I'm just going to um, put this on I've already cleaned it with some is isopropyl alcohol and I'll just um, put this button cover on now All right, that's perfect. That's all I need it, just for it to stay on. When you apply it, remember to always hold it for about, you know, a minute or so. That way you make sure you have the best ad adhesion possible. So all you're really pressing here is the bottom. So make sure you also press on that and ensure that it still works. You need to make sure that whenever you put these uh, button covers on that they always execute and depress okay and there we have it everything works as it should so now as you can see it really does complete the entire look of the car and you know in one of my next videos i will be changing out this chrome door handle to the matte silver one so that it matches the entire door and the color scheme continues throughout the car but I also want to do that video so I can show you guys how to fix your door handle if it ever breaks. Because it is another common fault with the W204 where these door handles, they tend to fall apart. And the clip inside of the door handle breaks and therefore leaves your door handle dysfunctional. So be sure to subscribe and when I do those videos, you will be notified when I upload them. It just completes the look of the car. Instead of just having a black button down there and the rest being silver, 
it completes the entire look. <laughs> okay, and well, that brings us to the end of the video. If you found this video helpful, as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. See you in the next one.